I really like the idea of a life progress bar in my daily notes, but I've always wanted it to be attached to the date of the daily note instead of just grabbing the current date and time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Set up a life progress bar in your daily note in Obsidian using a template variable so that it anchors the progress bar details to the date of the daily note that contains it. Before we get to Obsidian though, you might be wondering, who would actually wanna track their life progress in Obsidian anyway? So let's briefly unpack the idea of Memento Mori, which is the motivation behind the life progress bar for me in the first place. According to ancient writings of Tertullian going all the way back to the second century, victorious war generals had this custom where they would have someone follow them throughout their triumphal procession whose only job was to whisper in their ear, respis poste hominem te memento. The English translation here is, look after you until the time of your death and remember that you're only a man. In other words, don't get too excited there, big shot. And over time, this has been shortened to what has become a common literary trope, memento mori. Remember you're going to die someday. Now, while thinking about your inevitable death may seem morbid to some, Oliver Berkman takes a different tone in his phenomenal book, 4,000 Weeks where he advocates for this limit-embracing life. Now, I found that his description of this cosmic insignificance fascinating because it couples the fact that we all have limited time here with the scale of the universe and recognizing how small a part we actually have to play in it unfolding. But that's actually not as depressing as it may sound at first because instead of drawing the conclusion that everything is meaningless and what's the point, what it does is it alleviates the pressure that I tend to put on myself to completely change the world. Now the idea of Memento Mori both inspires me to make the most of the time that I have available, but at the same time it also alleviates the pressure of feeling like I have to leave a big dent in the universe. And I like this idea so much that I actually incorporated it into my daily note in Obsidian. Now I started with the excellent tutorial by Prakash Joshi Pex on how to create a life progress dashboard in Obsidian, but I already have a year timeline at the top of my daily note and I didn't really need the month or day progress, so I made a few modifications. But full disclosure here, I don't know much about data view or JavaScript. So if you really wanna learn what the code does, go check out that video by Prakash, which I mentioned earlier. There's a link in the description below this video where he walks you through it all. It's definitely worth your time. So I took this original code, and the first thing that I did was I cut out the sections that I wasn't gonna use. I also got rid of the table down here at the bottom but kept the lifespan section and then edited the lifespan section and got rid of the pipe character in the middle and replaced that with some non-breaking spaces so it renders more cleanly. Next, the original code just used the current date and time to determine the life progress, but I wanted it to be tied to the template variable in the creation of the daily note. So I went to the top and I changed this date time dot now to dv dot date and then in parens, quote, double brackets, date, colon, and then the template variable. And this is the template variable that I mentioned in my previous video on using templates in Obsidian. That gets translated into the date for the daily note. So for example, 2023-08-24, when the file's created. Now, this actually doesn't work unless you have data view set up correctly. So first you gotta go to the settings, click on community plugins, find data view and install and enable it if you don't have it already, then go to the plugin settings. Make sure that enable JavaScript queries and enable inline JavaScript queries are both toggled on. Then go down to the general section and make sure that date format is set to year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day. Now the formatting here is important. The year is lowercase, the month is uppercase, the date is lowercase. And date and time format is set to year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day, hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, and then A determines AM or PM. Now it's important that you set both of these as the date and time format setting seems to affect the date format setting, which is really the one that I wanna use. It's also important that the year and the day are lowercase, but that month is uppercase. This formatting is a little bit different. But the important thing is that the date preview renders the same way as the date formatting for the daily notes. So that data view and Obsidian can speak the same language. Now next, you need to make sure that your daily note is set to use this exact same formatting. So make sure you have the daily notes core plugin enabled, 
Then click on the daily notes option in the settings to go to the plugin settings and make sure that the date format here renders the same. Now I like to use the default setting here, which is year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day. In this case, it's all uppercase, but you wanna make sure that if you're gonna use a different format, you just make sure it renders the same both here in the daily notes settings and also in the data view settings. Then make sure that the snippet is embedded in the daily notes template that you wanna use. So let's walk through that. Let's close the settings. Let's take a look at my daily note template right here. And you can see I've got this section titled Memento Mori. And here's the inline data view code right here with that template variable. Now you will need to change the birth date section here in order for it to calculate your life progress correctly. And you can also change the life expectancy by changing this number right here. Once you dial it in once though, you're good to go as long as it happens in this template file. So now when we create a new daily note, this template variable gets replaced. And when we switch to reading view, it looks something like this. You can get this exact code snippet, just copy and paste it. This is the same snippet that I use for my daily note, and it's in my Obsidian University Starter Vault. It also has a bunch of other templates and a collection of my best Obsidian tips to help you get more out of your notes and ideas in Obsidian. All of the tips are organized by category, and it's got a couple other goodies in there as well, like a markdown reference note, a list of all the supported callout formats, and all of my recommended Obsidian settings. You can download that starter vault for free by going to obsidianuniversity.com slash vault. And if you're interested in my book notes for the 4,000 weeks book that I mentioned earlier, there's a link to download the mind map below this video. So if you wanna use this code for yourself, here's what you need to do. First, grab the code from the starter vault template section. Second, adjust the birth date section and the life expectancy if you wanna change that. And then third, paste that code in your daily note template file. Then whenever you create a new daily note, that template variable will be replaced with the date format for that day and you'll have a snapshot permanently attached to your daily note, even if you choose to go back and look at it years from now.